All right, guys. So I just got back from my local shop, my first pre-release event. Um, uh, I'm gonna do a, this. So this will be my first. I'll do an actual, so you guys can see the kit, all that cool stuff. I like the art. Dangerous Skull alone. They've got like a. Can I get proper lighting? Apparently not. Um, I don't know if you can see that. The kits are cool. That one's damaged, so I'm probably gonna throw this one out. Go cat, all you. Um, my giant stack of tokens. So, yeah, let's go through the cards. Uh, I am missing a Tom Babadil. Uh, I gave it to a buddy, because I already have one. Um, oh, the piece of art here is pretty dope, too. Yeah, it's Aragorn with the four hobbits. Uh, it doesn't look like weather tops in the picture, but it's you're right. Um, so there's two. This set is different. There's two date stamp promos similar to what happened with uh, oh one of the participation cards. Was it scratched? No, oh, okay. It was acidic slime. I forget what the other one is. Uh, Pre-release code. If it's not used, cool. If it is used, sorry. I got a fancy version of Wizards Rockets. It's not a bad card. Um, the full art pre-release card couldn't be used. Um, but the regular pre-release card could. It was really weird. So let's see. Where's the big hits? Uh, Lost Isle Calling. Again, there was a Tom Babadil. Just a regular print, but I gave it to a buddy. Um, it's only like a four dollar card, five dollar card. And the Book of Mars Marzaval. Cause I only got two Book of Marzavals in here. So I was like, man, I don't even have a lot of sagas. Um, so I didn't run them. Oh, that's scratched. Don't want this from being in my box. Um Oh, hey, token, another foil. Enderal, Flame of the West. And my second copy of that. Oh, that's right. Foil, planes. So I got Sam, Ed's Fury, Fire of Orthnac, or Orthac. Was just dumb. Land destruction is painful. Yep, Elm Chorus. Yep, there's the other date stamp promo Aragorn, company leader. Um, Eowyn kicked ass. I got Sting, that was useful. April, did you just kick him out of the spot? And then the flowering of the white tree. Um, yeah, I um, I had fun. I got second place. Mind you, three people tied for first and two people tied for second. It was one of those days. <laughs> um, I'll get these... Uh, We'll get these done up, we'll get them told, we'll see what our values are, and let you know if it was, I'm pretty sure, because again, like with the Tom Babadil, it was worth the 35 bucks. Alright, so this is my, this is the results from the first pre-release I went to. 
Um, the promo, the 30th anniversary play promo that I got was the 2009 Acidic Slime, which is hanging at actually 350. Um, it was a, it's a 30, it was five, 35 dollars for the pre-release kit. This one's hanging out at 20 bucks. It does not have the two date stamped promos because they're still not in Scryfall, so like, they're not in Moxfield, unfortunately. Um. Heaviest hitter, I pulled a $5 Andrew Flame of the West, the f you know, full frame. The Six Slime's useful, which that's why it's hanging out, because you can destroy a land with it. Flowering the White Tree, OP as fuck. Gonna go into my uh, uh, Jota deck. Elven Chorus, hanging out at two bucks. Uh, even though it's like the foils aren't worth much more than the regular lands. Thayden, super fun, if you do a human tribal. Aowen, I, ba I I got third place or whatever. It was like five people tying for second place. It was dumb. Um, yeah, whatever Aaron's battle, feel like Zelda, our creature and controls the greater power. Let your creatures you control gain protection from. Yeah, it's it's badass. Um, Sting is really slick too. I think my favorite card of the set, we used with like a, a damage, a red deck. Is Gimli's Axe. It's like six dollars, six cent card. Equip creature gets plus three as long as it's legendary. Gets menace. So you just like make them more violent and then give them menace. It's the best. Overall, this set's super fun. Uh, this hanging out at twenty bucks makes more sense. Given that the market's gonna be flooded, but I also it makes a pre-release kit not really the best value add unless you get a big card as the date stamped one. Because the date stamped cards can either be cheaper or more expensive depending on how many are pulled. But, yeah. Nothing too crazy value wise, just 20 bucks. Again, cracking packs is for losers, you know, waste money. I could have bought all this for 20 bucks, saved $15. But I guess I have to spend $15 for the fun. Um, yeah. This is why I expect the set to be like, uh, the cards not being worth the cost of packs. Because especially once the one ring is cracked, or even just as people are cracking collector box, like, so the collector box, if it maintains value, because for whatever reason it doesn't show up, right, it's at the bottom of the stack, whatever, right? Um, it's, you know, it's in the warehouse at Walmart, <laughs> you know? The, once the collector box boxes start getting dumped which i think they are because this i want to say when i first put it in it was closer to 40 dollars but again this andrew flame of the west was going for 20 bucks a pop which would explain my difference um of like 15 dollars missing yeah this one's definitely one of those sets you probably want to buy singles for i would unless you're actually going to draft i would avoid draft boxes for sure or if you can get them for cheap. But with that, I thank you for watching, and you have a good day.